from the James Cameron of game devs, who did some genuinely good stuff last century, but has since been slipping steadily into mediocrity, comes the second game based on the Avatar movies, because the world may want us to forget about the 2009 version with Sigourney Weaver and Michelle Rodriguez, but we remember James. We remember. Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. Take on the mantle of your own personal avatar. In the video game sense, not the canon movie sense. But hey, at least you can customize your character. Jake Sully never got to do that. Choose from a variety of identical dots and stripes, hideous haircuts, and a diverse array of skin tones, ranging from blue to different blue. Gotta look good for Awa. And failing that, you can have bangs. Look, it doesn't matter how long you spend trying to make Pandora's next top model. Whatever you create is still going to look like the love child of Ugly Sonic and an extra from Cats. Step into the size 14s of the Sauron 2, a victim of the sort of subtle colonialism metaphor you'd expect from the Avatar franchise. I want you to learn these savages from the inside. I want you to gain their trust. Who, after their sister dies of bringing a song to a gunfight, escapes the evil military facility to rejoin the Navi society. You know, after really thinking about it for eight years, and then taking a 16-year power nap. Okay, listen, it takes a lot of beauty sleep to look this good. Then embark on a journey to reclaim your literal roots as you speak with the spirits of the world tree so they can unlock sick new Navi tricks and huff plant B.O. in order to, like, get doped up with the power of Pandora or whatever as you learn about your long-lost culture from NPCs that largely ignore or bully you. Look at these clothes! In a journey of self-discovery that you'll blow past as quickly as possible after getting the gist of it in the first couple of hours. Yeah, yeah, I get it. We gotta live in harmony, etc., etc., etc. I'm just excited to be as tall as I am. <laughs> Look how teeny tiny the people are. I bet this is how Shaq feels all the time. Escape the bad guy's clutches and once again assimilate back into your culture, where you'll go from tribe to tribe, rallying them to fight against the RDA, which means doing a lot of random odd jobs so that they'll like you even a fraction as much as they hate the Sky People. Then stop the plot of the most generic bad guy possible, Mercer. And in the Avatar franchise, that's really saying something who, you guessed it, wants to plunder Pandora for its resources in a narrative about protecting your homeland and banding together to fight off invaders that pretty much feels like the plot of Pocahontas if you gave her a machine gun. How about we paint with all the colors of your blood, mother <laughs> Stalk the untamed wilds of Pandora, which looked great in the Avatar movies, and not gonna lie, looks great here too. That is, until you have to figure out where you're trying to go. Look, it's okay if everything is bright and colorful in a movie, but in a game, the way I know where to go is look for the bright colored thing. That doesn't work if everything's the bright colored thing. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Rely on this useless HUD that doesn't even track the main objective? Or should I channel the power of nature itself? <sighs> I would trade every scrap of unobtainium on this stupid planet for a single bright yellow handhold. The RDA might be amoral colonialists, but at least they have GPS. Aw, oh, come on! Even when it rains, they don't have the courtesy to give you a clear path. <sighs> but you know what they say. If it ain't raining, we ain't training! <sighs> Pull that bowstring tight in Avatar's all-too-familiar gameplay mechanics that will have you stopping the evil humans from harvesting the planet's natural resources, murdering the natives, and blowing shit up via the tried-and-true methods of harvesting the planet's natural resources, murdering the natives, and blowing shit up. In gameplay that feels like someone threw an aquamarine filter over Far Cry Primal and called it a day. That is, until you take to the skies, where combat gains the exciting new feature of having you forget to look where you're going while aiming and you slam into a mountain. Now that's what I call connecting with nature. Then unlock a bunch of human weapons which you'll use to fight the mechanized units of the RDA that seem entirely useless against your strategy of taking pot shots from a distance with your big, big bow. The Sky People threat from the movie is a lot less convincing now that I know you can merc these guys with a couple of sticks you tie together. Who's making these tin cans? Future Tesla? So straddle that Ekron. Stick your hair dick anywhere you find a compatible USB port 
and get ready to experience the world of Avatar exactly the way you always have, with total cheesy earnestness and zero quality control, in a gameplay experience that is both impossibly huge and infuriatingly empty, just like Jake Sully's big beautiful eyes. <sighs> I could just swim in those vacant pools forever. Starring Yo, listen up, here's a story about a little guy that lives in a blue world and all day and all night and everything he sees is just blue like him inside and outside. Blue his house with a little blue window and a blue Corvette and everything is blue for him and himself and everybody around. Cause he ain't got nobody to, oh yep, yeah, they're all f the tree. Avatar cry. I just blew myself. Okay, and where the f*** is Jake Sully in all this? We know he's on Pandora. We know he's dealt with the Sky People before. You're telling me the actual military guy is sitting this one out? Why? So the last remaining member of the clown clan can have their moment in the sun? I'm starting to think this guy is not very good at the whole white savior thing. <laughs> Comment below on what you want to hear in my epic voice and check out these other epic gaming videos on GameSpot. That's all right. I still got my guitar. Look out now. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. Nice shooting, son. What's your name? Murphy. He doesn't know how to use the three seashells. Ha, 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 ha. Behold, I have become the great potato god. <laughs>